Welcome back guys, it's your boy The Ace back with another vid. Today we're going to look at M5 Stacks, M5 Stick C+, try saying that one my fault. A remarkable little upgrade from the original M5 Stick C. Today I'll guide you through not only installing the Marauder firmware on this neat little device, but also some nice hints and tips that might come in handy for later on. So, buckle up, turn up those speakers and let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Introduction Now the M5 Stick C Plus is powered by a robust ESP32 Pico D4. Now this features a Bluetooth 4.0 with Wi-Fi capabilities. Now what sets this apart from its predecessor is its much larger screen enhancing not only just the user interaction but the display quality as well. The thing that stands out for me is not only the fact that it's compact and its open source development board is designed for both beginners and seasoned developers alike, but also what I like is that it's easy and elegant in terms of how it brings your ideas to life on such a little frame. Technical spec. Now as an overview, the main processor has the ESP32 offering a 240 megahertz dual core processor plus 600 dmips and 520 kilobytes of sram as mentioned it has the dual mode bluetooth 4.2 with the wi-fi ensuring versatility across any kind of network connectivity now the screen is quite small it's only 1.14 inches with a resolution size of 135 by 240 now in terms of sensors it does pack a punch for what you're getting in such a small device it's built with six axes imu which is part of the mpu series for motion tracking additionally it includes an ir transmitter and a microphone rtc and a red led to boot what i liked about this upgrade compared to its predecessor is the battery upgrade which has increased from 95 to 120 milliamps now in terms of charging and power input, it has a 5V in via USB-C port. It also has onboard flash memory of 4 megabytes, providing ample space for any kind of application or data you're trying to run. And as mentioned, in terms of connectivity, you have the primary USB-C but also has a Grove input as well. And in terms of user interface, it has two custom buttons uh, for easy for interaction. It has a middle button as well if needed. Installing Marauder. Now out of the box, the device itself has little to no features available to it. But that's not to say that M5 stack doesn't have you covered. They have an open source almost app catalog that can be downloaded, installed where developers upload and verify their applications that could be loaded onto the device itself. It makes it super streamlined to install variety of applications so let's demo that now. Now, what you want to do is first head over to docs.m5stack.com forward slash download, and you will head down to UI flow firmware burning tool. From here, you can either select the Windows, Mac or Linux distributions that you need. In my instance, we'll do it on my Windows box. So you can hit download and install that. Now, once that's downloaded, extract the zip file and you have one file, which is an exe and two folders accompanying that. Now, simply run this exe file. Right then, once you've run that exe file, you will be presented with a left panel with variety of devices that are provided by M5 Stack. Now, for our instance, we're going to select the stick C. Now from here, you'll get all the applications that can be burnt onto the stick C. Now, simply plug in the USB-C onto your computer and then plug the corresponding end into your M5 stick C. Now, if you hit the navigation menu, you will see this serial monitor. Now this serial monitor shows what serial ports are connected now the serial port is the method in which you can actually load all this custom firmware onto the device. In my case, it's COM port 9. Once you select COM port 9, simply hit connect. And now we're connected to COM port 9, which is essentially your computer. From there, it's quite simple. You select 
whichever firmware you wish to use. Now we can see here, quick hint of the new M5 Stick C Plus 2, which annoyingly enough, I saw as soon as I purchased this one. Not to say that the one I have is bad, it's just that obviously this is the next version up. Now you can see there is so many in the community that have contributed to this, which makes it even better and it seems to be constantly updating. Now you have, again, a TV remote, we have a resistor calculator. There's too many to count. Now you can go through this list at your own leisure and download them all at one at a time just to see what you like. Here they even got a Super Mario game, which is quite good. Now for us, as we said, we are after two specific firmwares. The first one we want to look at is obviously Marauder. Now if we go up here, and there we have it. You can see here, we got Marauder for the M-Stick C Plus. You got here the M-Stick C Non Plus version. So if you got the one below that, you got here a fix for the screen that works. Because obviously you're dealing with such a small screen, it can become quite buggy. As you know, the Marauder and all the great work that Just Call Me Coco has done in this has gone on to many ESP32 devices, including the stick itself. So let's select one that we want. So let's burn this one. Actually, let me remove it just to show you what it looks like when you have to download it and start it again. So you will download it. See it downloads and then you simply hit burn. It says here, this is unofficial firmware. Do you want to continue? Yes, we don't mind. And then you simply select your COM port and the board rate is automatically selected for you. If you do have an issue with the board rate, you can also change it. And then you simply hit start. Boom. And simply took two to three minutes to burn that on there. Burn successful, kick here to return. And you're done. Now on your device, you should see some installation on the screen starting to happen. And it should just boot up as normal. If not, you want to hit the top and back buttons on the device itself and just hold them down. Anyone who has the device will know what I'm talking about because there's literally only three buttons on it. Hit the top and bottom one and ignore the big one in the middle which says M5. Hold them down for like three, four seconds and it simply reboot. All right, the second firmware which I highly recommend for the M5 Stick C Plus is Nemo. Now this firmware, as it suggests, has some high tech pranks. You got the TV Be Gone, which is quite handy, shuts down all TVs, projectors, and any devices in the vicinity of the device, which is quite nice. You got Wi-Fi spam, funny SSIDs, random SSIDs, and curious Rick Rolling can be done on this one, quite nice, didn't know that. We also got Wi-Fi scanning, so very similar tools to Marauder on this one. And we also have the Nemo Captive Portal. Interesting, so it does basically the evil portal attack as well. Very interesting. So let's do the same thing again. So we simply hit burn, make sure the USB-C is plugged in. We have our COM port already associated, which is number nine, board rate dynamically allocates we hit start and boom as we can see the burn was successful so let's head back over to the device and see what's going on all right there we have nemo and as we can see we have tvb gone bluetooth wi-fi qr codes and settings so Let's test this Wi-Fi one. I'm quite interested to see what this can do. So we have scan Wi-Fi. We have spam funny. We have the Rick Roll on this one as well. Let's also test the Rick Roll here. Let's see what it actually looks like.
So what I am interested in doing is testing the evil portal or Nemo portal in this instance. Seeing how that works. So here we can see the evil portal is spun up on a local IP address with the SSID Nemo free Wi-Fi and it also has a victim count. Now on the same Wi-Fi network, I can see there is an SSID called free Nemo Wi-Fi. So we can connect to that. All right, it did redirect. And there we have it. It's, it's in Portuguese, so we'd have to change whatever landing page within the program itself is if you want to customize this, but we've translated it to English. The victim count has set to nothing. So if I hit test at test.com, um, just whatever garbage you put in there. And then we hit send, basically, or submit. Oh, we got a count. It says a victim login. Victim count went up to one. And we have a poor favor on screen. Very similar to what the flipper already offers in terms of the evil pool tool, but nonetheless, very, very good. Really happy with that. Conclusion. Now, that was the Aces quick guide to the M5 Stick C Plus with not only Nemo, but the Marauder firmware, which once you plug them into the device itself, makes it a little powerhouse in my perspective for any tech enthusiast or developer. However, remember to use this responsibly and ethically in any network analysis or testing. As a bonus, the Plus 2 has not long been released, which boasts a larger 2MB PS RAM and 8MB flash memory offering enhanced capabilities for handling even more complex tasks and data storing. So if you haven't got that, make sure you cop that. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for, again, HT content. Now, stay safe in the cyberspace and peace out.